Hello everyone, I'm Michael Q. Freehill, orthopedic surgeon and shoulder specialist working with Summit Orthopedics, a multi-specialty orthopedic group in the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Today we're going to talk to you about shoulder arthroplasty or as some of you may otherwise know it as shoulder replacement surgery. We'll be discussing the multiple types of shoulder replacements, what kind of conditions are used to treat, and how each type of shoulder replacement is performed in the operating room. Today, however, we'll be using saw bones. Not quite hard as a rock, but pretty darn close. The benefit of a saw bone is it gives us fairly similar opportunity to show surgical procedures without the bloody gore that some of you might not be comfortable with. So today we'll be using these types of instruments to show shoulder replacement surgery in its variable forms. So please join us as we start to venture through the different types of shoulder replacement surgery. So now we're going to discuss the different types of shoulder replacements. And really there's basic two types of replacements that we perform routinely. The first is called an anatomic total shoulder. That's where the ball is replaced with the ball and a socket is replaced with a socket. So here we have the components of an anatomic shoulder replacement. And there's really two basic types of those replacements. The first is called a stemless. Here you can see this small little implant, which typically goes into the humeral bone right at the top. The second type is called a stemmed implant. And this is the more traditional type of shoulder replacement that's been used for several decades, where this little stem will go down the canal inside the bone, part of the humerus again. As I said, the ball gets replaced with the ball. So we're gonna show you the surgical technique in a moment, but in this situation, the top part of the humerus, the ball portion, will be removed and this will be replaced on top. The stem will go down the canal. And so you have a structure that looks something like this. Now this will articulate with the new socket. And currently we use a socket that looks something like this. This is made out of polyethylene, a special type of plastic that's quite durable. And this will be placed inside the socket. So the plastic portion will now go into the socket, similar to this. And again, we'll review that technique soon. Ultimately, these two lovely parts create a relationship like this. The ball articulates with the plastic portion, creating a lovely pain-free shoulder for you to practice guitar, play tennis, and do enjoy all the fun things that you like to do in life. So that's what we call the anatomic total shoulder. In order to have an anatomic total shoulder, your rotator cuff has to be in working condition. And for those who are familiar with the rotator cuff, it's a group of tendons around the shoulder that help us raise our arms in certain positions. So for this type of implant to be utilized, your rotator cuff has to be in good condition. If not, you get a different type of shoulder replacement, something we call the reverse shoulder replacement. That type of implant involves a very distinct change in how things work. It's called the reverse because the ball and socket joint are actually flipped around. And so normally what was a ball becomes the plastic socket. So this will be placed where the ball used to be. And the socket, which used to be a piece of plastic fitting into the socket, like we demonstrated before, will ultimately become the ball. By reversing those components, you can actually lift your arm up over your head and put it in different positions that if your rotator cuff was in poor condition, you wouldn't typically be able to do. Thanks to Eli Whitney and interchangeable parts, this is very modular, meaning the parts come in different uh, sizes and uh, lengths. And so we can actually take the same stem put the plastic socket on the part that would normally go down the humerus. And we have a ball right here. And so these now articulate in a very different fashion than the anatomic shoulder. Hence, the reverse shoulder replacement. Now, join us as we go into the 
depths of surgical intervention here and show you the actual surgical techniques for both the anatomic and the reverse total shoulder replacements.